In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to automate a plugin in Pro Tools. I have a track in front of me here. First thing I want to do is choose the plugin I want to automate. Let's add a new one here. Let's add an EQ to a 7 band EQ. It doesn't really matter which plugin you choose, they all work very similar to each other in terms of automation. And if you're only going to automate one or two buttons, you can use this shortcut here. On the Mac, you hold on Control, Option, Command. On the PC, you hold on Start, Alt, Control. And just while you're holding those buttons down, click on the button you want to automate. So if it was this one, I would just click here. See, it says Enable Automation for High, Mid, Band, Gain. And you can do it to any of them that way. And that'll allow you to automate those controls separately. But if you can do more than a few, you might want to go to this window here. Plugin Automation window. And here's where you can choose which ones you want to do. If I'm doing a lot, I usually just grab them all. Hit Add. Now they're all ready to go. If you go to your waveform here, you could switch. You can see they're all here. A lot of them you can't see on the screen, but they're all there. So the next thing you want to do is enable automation. So you have to go to your automation enable window. And you see it's set just to volume right now. I'm going to turn volume off and just choose plugin. So now when you're writing automation, it'll only write plugin automation. If you didn't have this on, it wouldn't write the plugin automation. And leave the other ones off for now. This way you're not overwriting anything else by accident. Close that. And then you can go into an automation mode. I'm going to choose touch. You could use write, but if you use write, it's going to write automation for all the parameters, which is more information that needs to be done. So I'm just going to use touch. And that'll just write automation for the ones I actually touch, which would be a lot less than all of them. So let me just get some of these ready to be recorded. And I can just start writing automation just by hitting play. You didn't even know a true now you're if you want to do others after that, as long as you're in touch mode here, you can just do it and you won't erase the other one. You didn't even know a true now you're do some at the low end also. You didn't even know a true I could do one with the high end too. You didn't even know a true now you're coming. You can see it creates some comb filtering, which is kind of cool. Almost sounds like a flange. So tear that back. You didn't even know a true. Now that's more than you usually need. But just to show you, for example, that's what you can do with it. Now I'm also notice it's overloading a little bit. Now I'll take it out of touch mode and put it in read mode. And because I haven't written any automation for this particular parameter, I can move it without it affecting automation. You didn't even know a true. Now you're. So any of the parameters that weren't written before, I could still touch freely. You didn't even know a true, now you're coming back. Just the parameters that would touch were actually recorded. And you can see that by going through here. I pass frequency, mid-band gain, high mid-band gain, high gain. You get the idea. So they're all here. You can just tweak them manually if you wanted to. Go into freehand and redraw them if you want. You didn't even know a true. So that's automating a plugin in Pro Tools. I hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I'll see you next time. Thanks.